So here we are looking at the hive entry um, early in the morning. You can see that there's just a few honeybees out because of the relatively cold weather uh, just above the shadow there. Joel arrived at 7 o'clock in the morning and he's firing up the smoker first thing. We're loading it up with some wood chips and getting that flaming hot so we can get some good smoke to knock those bees out. Now we've got that smoke really coming out pretty thick and uh, we're ready to rock and roll. So now here I am suiting up in my bee suit. Uh, this is a protective suit uh, basically designed to keep bees out, prevent me from getting stung. It would not really have been needed actually. The bees were incredibly docile um, and we ended up taking them off later on in the afternoon. Now Joel is a professional uh, bee remover and you can see that uh, he's uh, even got his own truck uh, dedicated to the process where he brought in uh, you know, obviously some hive and combs and his custom designed bee vacuum. The first step was to remove the siding and that's where we started. We uh, decided that the uh, beehive was likely behind the siding um, so we had to pry up uh, all that wood there and uh, look for bee, basically look for where the beehive was. Now you can see some bees are starting to get stirred up, so he's smoking underneath the uh, siding. And just continuing along the chimney margin, trying to get that board up and try to look and see what's behind there. So far, not a lot of bees are coming out, partly because of the uh, low temperatures, but also, uh, as you'll see, there's uh, some surprises waiting for us behind there. So now we've got the siding off and we've got the uh, layer of foam insulation now left. So Joel's just prying up a few nails that are holding that in place. And as you can see here, uh, we're getting pretty close to where the hive is actually located. A few more bees are coming out, but nothing too bad. Now with a little bit of prying, you can see that actually we've exposed the uh, honeybee nest and uh, now um, Joel's looking around to see kind of what's going on here and he's made a kind of startling revelation and that is that the bees are not where we thought they were. Instead of being to the right uh, underneath the siding, they've actually hooked left and have built their entire nest just behind the chimney and completely inaccessible from the outside. So this was... Uh, not a uh, welcome discovery to say the least, <laughs> but you can see that they've managed to nestle right in between the, uh, the wall support and you can see the honeycomb right there just hidden behind the chimney. So we had to take the interior approach. Now we're starting to get the first glimpse of the hive. So Joel has reflected back the uh, first piece of drywall and we're using the bee vacuum to essentially remove the bees that uh, are starting to come out now. Uh, they're still quite docile so uh, this is pretty easy. So this process took uh, quite a good deal of time in all actuality and uh, all told, it took about three hours to remove the drywall and uh, eventually take out the bees. But you can see the scope and scale of the honeybee nest is really quite impressive. Uh, right now we're starting to pull apart the uh, part of the cone where uh, it's essentially capped and being made ready for winter. Um, the brood comb is many layers back in the wall.
So here you can see the honeycomb that's been removed from our wall. All told, we estimate uh, approximately 60 pounds. And now we've removed most of the honeycomb from the wall. You can see the size of the cavity in the back of our chimney here. Uh, Joel is still scouring, uh, looking for the queen. Uh, we couldn't find her initially in the actual comb that we removed, so we started looking and finally found her uh, hiding in one of the joists. Uh, and there she is in all her glory, uh, hanging out now in a trap specially designed for holding the queen. And she's pumping out pheromones right now, uh, basically uh, calling to her the few bees that have escaped our vacuum. We put it outside and actually uh, you can see how many bees were still left and are starting to aggregate around her and tend to her needs. As you can see, there are quite a few bees still that uh, missed our grasp of the vacuum cleaner.